Hey everyone, welcome to Seashawn Scrapbook. It's been a while since I've made a video, but I thought with the new Project Life app 3.0 update that came through today that we could walk through it uh, together, see what's different, what's changed, and what stays the same. So the first thing that you'll notice is that it's actually, uh, the icon is different. It's down here on my bottom row, it's that uh, four squared kind of orange and yellow Icon. So I'm going to tap on that. It's going to bring up um, a new, a new starting spot. We got three options. We can either create, go to our library, or place an order. Go ahead and go to the create option. And then it gives us three choices: a collage page, which this is what a normal page is, um, a normal page like you regularly uh, make. Let me tap on that. You'll see the our same options for picking uh, oops picking templates here at the bottom so your normal page they're now calling a collage page so um, an editorial page this is something that's new um, it's a page meant more for uh, journaling and you've got a couple of well one free option here where you can create a title you can just tap on that title area, get a, a box to type in, or you can tap on one of these journal areas, and then you got your blank space that you can write on. Um, if you tap here in the, the grid button in the top left, um, that's where also your full photo, your full 12 by 12 um, photo page is now located in this editorial. Now it looks like we've got an editorial set that you can purchase for layouts for $4.99. Um, these pink colored areas are meant for photos. Um, I have heard I have heard that you cannot put a card in those. You can only put a photo. And then you've got your journaling spaces uh, around them. Um, I don't feel the need to purchase these right now, so I can't demo those. But that's where those are. So then if we go back, um, back to our create, and then you've got this small print option. This is where all of the four by six templates have gone. Um, you can see them, the different configurations down here at the bottom. Um, so these were formerly in the orange section of the app uh, before the update, um, if that helps you know what we're talking about here. All right, let's go into the library. The library has where you can go and look at your pages and you've got these little tabs here at the top, your pages that are in progress, your collages, what they're calling your finished pages. Now, uh, any editorial pages that you are working on, uh, any small prints that you're working on and folders. I don't have any folders set up but that's what your library pages looks like these different options okay let's go back to our library and kits uh, we've got a kind of a new organization here you've got new kits uh, there weren't any kits new kits in this latest update so these are the the last kits that were available for update the last time they were new uh, favorites, which um, is only available on iOS devices. You can favorite a kit so that it appears in the shorter collection than the, the big long list. My kits are all the kits that you have purchased. More kits are all the kits that you haven't purchased. And what's new here is there is a search function. You can search if for the kind of card you're looking for, if you're looking for a dog card, it will show you any kits that have a dog, uh, and then different variations of dog. So there's five, let's click on this, there's five kits that have dog or say the word dog on it. And then you can see the little numbers. There's one more kit that I, I don't personally have that has either a dog or the word dog on it. So you can search through here and 
It's probably a dog shape, I'm guessing. Yep. So that that little Scotty dog card is what it's uh, pulling up from our search. And then there are four kits that I own that have a dog or say the word dog on it. So the dog themed kits, there's apparently a dog in this fine and dandy kit. Um, or maybe it's just the word hot dog or something. I don't, haven't checked it out for accuracy here. I'm not seeing a dog yet. Or maybe it says dog gone it or something. Hmm. I don't know. Um, in this kit, it says there's a dog something. Oh, probably this card. You can't really see it right there in the middle. It says fur baby. I bet that's counting that as a dog related card. And here in the project 52, there is a cute dog card. So search function is kind of nice. You can search, you know, by the thing you're looking for. You can search for the wording on a card. I just typed in the word lucky and there's all these different card options. I'm feeling lucky, lucky duck. I think my lucky stars, on and on and on. And probably what my favorite feature of this search is you can search for colors. If you're looking for a purple card, but you know that it's, you know, a light purple but not a dark purple and you don't want to go into each individual kit, search by the color and then scroll through. And these are all the matching kits that have a purple card. So that's kind of nice. We'll do orange. Whoops. Push the wrong button. So there's the all the little different variations of orange. Why there's browns popping up here, I don't know, when you search for orange, but that's interesting. Let's search for brown. Well, okay. Now, you and I both know that if you're looking for a brown card, search for orange. That seems kind of weird. Now I'm interested to check out other colors. Red seems to be red and somewhat orange. Oh, look, and black. And pink. Interesting. Yellow, it's got some yellows and some greens. Interesting, so what comes up when we search for green? Maybe the person who came up with this search is colorblind, who knows? And help if I could type correct. Oh, that one looks pretty true and is just green. Anyway, so not a perfect search feature, but something we haven't had before. So that's that. Now let's go back. What else? Oh, your fonts are listed here. I don't think bef before that it gave you an example of every letter of the alphabet with this, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That's kind of nice. So you can kind of get an idea how each letter will look in the fonts that you have downloaded through the app or, um, if you've paid to have the font feature, uh, fonts that you've uploaded yourself. So that's kind of, kind of nice. Um, the order button uh, is just how you can order things. And that's pretty much everything in the new update. So collages means regular pages. Editorial pages are pages that are meant more for documenting, uh, journaling, um, and small print are those four by six uh, size page pockets. So 
that's what's new in the Project Life 3.0 update. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.